Welcome to Take Me to the River, a movement of social consciousness, and welcome to our series at Royal Studio, highlighting the finest musicians in the Mississippi Delta and the city of Memphis. We're back home. We love it. And we're in the presence of royalty here at Royal today with one of the quintessential musical families of North Mississippi and the Hill Country, Mr. Cedric Burnside, two-time Grammy nominee, winner of many blues awards. We're going to get into your latest record that you recorded right here at Royal with Boo uh, in a minute, but I wanted to uh, ask you about coming up in such a musical family, your grandfather being R.L. Burnside and your pops being the drummer for your grandfather and then you ultimately taking over for your father. So give us a little uh, perspective of what that, that was like. I have to say it was quite an experience, you know, growing up in, in the Burnside family, but uh, it, it was an experience that I, you know, I loved and, and um, you know, wouldn't change for the world. But um, just watching them, you know, as a, as a little kid, you know, uh, six, seven years old, my big daddy and, and, you know, my dad and uncles, they would play at, you know, house parties. And so my big daddy would throw a house party, you know, every other weekend. And they would just jam out, you know, little raggedy drums and amp. They didn't care. They just played, you know, and people would come and, and just, you know, have fun dancing. Uh, well, I was one of uh, many grandkids, you know, uh, and I do mean many. <laughs> um, just sitting there in amazement. You know, um, I always loved it, uh, even as a young age, you know, uh, it, it just it just drawed me in. You know, I, I don't even know why it just drawed me in. Now I, I know why. But um, yeah, just just as a little kid, I used to admire and and love to watch them, you know, do their thing. And one one day I just decided to, you know, um, <laughs> grow some and, and walk up there and jump on the drums. You know, I always was scared. So I, I you know, I had to gr grow a few gr days, you know. <laughs> I don't know if I said that right, but um, but I, I, I did and I got up there and and um, I just did what I what I know to do and it's just make some noise, you know. Uh, it, I'm sure it didn't sound good at all. <laughs> Well, your pops got a hold of you, huh? And he he showed you a few things. Well, see, that's the thing. He he never did. Um, he never had the time to set me down and show me, you know. Um, so I had to kind of see him when when he was playing. If I was there, I had to kind of watch, observe, and kind of mimic what I see him do. He wasn't the type of father that was around to you know show me things. Um, but we would see each other at the juke joints and, you know, I would watch him in house parties and I would watch him and that's where I got it from. Him and uh, I have to say uh, another guy named Artemis LaSure, which is from Holly Springs, um, and Kenny Kimbrough, of course. You know, I, those are the main three guys I watched, uh, Hill Country drummers I watched as a kid growing up. All right, thank you very much. Take me to the river. Appreciate it.
play amazing guitar. What, who was your inspiration of where you got that will to play North Mississippi blues on guitar? That's a great question, man. <laughs> um, to be honest with you, man, I, I, I have the slightest idea. I, I know I listened to my big dad in my whole life. Um, so uh, I'm, I'm pretty sure that me watching him and, and just and having this in my blood um, is that's part of what made, you know, my style come out so, so raw. You know, um, but that's that's all I know. I like I I don't. Uh, I'm I'm used to playing without a bass, so I do guitar and and drums because that's what I'm used to doing. You know, um, and so I I'm not opposed to playing with a bass. It's just a lot of my life I played music and we didn't have a bass. So we made it work. <laughs> um, but yeah, watching him, um, I always wanted to play guitar. Uh, I just never, uh, I guess, took the time to sit down and, and really teach myself or get somebody to teach me. Um, but I, I picked up a guitar for the first time uh, maybe about 15, 15 years ago, 15, 16 years ago. And believe it or not, my first guitar was given to me by Luther, Luther Dixon, my first guitar. And he gave it to me and he was like, here you go, man. You say you want something to practice with? And I, and I practice and I practice and I practice, man. You know, um, watching people. Um, my uncle showed me a few things here and there. Uh, Gary Burnside uh, and uh, Trent Mader showed me one or, one or two things. Um, but for the most part, nobody was ever still enough to sit down with me and and really show me. You know, um, um, and uh, I just kind of ran with what I know and put it together and a lot of practice and a lot of hard times and going through some things and happy times, sad times, and, and I come up with the songs. And um, I just thank the Lord and Ariel Burnside, you know, for the will to keep going, to learn the guitar and to just learn how to express myself. Uh, I feel I express myself better um, through music, you know, um, some things I can't really say to people, but uh, I can say it through music, you know, so it's a big part of my life. Last time 